Hey, what's up guys, it's Greg, and I am back with another video in my video series titled My Medical Journey. And in the last video, we talked about my first infusion of the immunotherapy. Going to the infusion center, seeing other patients, and getting my first round of treatment. Today's video, we're going to be talking about really the, the time between the first infusion and the time of my first scan. The first infusion occurred, but I believe it was around the last week of March. And then my scan, which was going to be the you know big deal because it was going to determine if the treatment was working or not, that scan was going to take place at the end of May. So I had about two months time, um, which I was receiving infusions every couple weeks. But uh, you know, other than that, I was really trying to get back to some sort of normal life. Uh, we were actually traveling between St. Louis and Kansas City for the treatments. So every couple weeks, we um, you know go travel from Kansas City to St. Louis, and then you know drive back to Kansas City. And uh, at this point in time, I was actually back in the office at work. Um, you know, I know obviously everybody's different in how they you know they they deal with cancer and. Uh, you know, around this time, I felt like, you know, working was probably okay, assuming I could, um, you know, hold up physically, and uh, I was going to give it, you know, my best shot. So, um, I worked throughout um, all of my cancer treatment. So, over the next two months, um, you know, I did start working out again. That was a really big deal. I remember the first time um, I was walking through my parents' neighborhood, and uh, at this point I was just, you know, walking, briskly walking. I had not started running or jogging or anything. Um, this is probably the first week or second week in April. So, um, you know, I was trying to stay active, you know, despite, you know, being tired, you know, from cancer treatment and, you know, just having cancer. Um, I did a lot of walking, and then I remember the first time I decided to start running. I was walking through my parents' neighborhood, and, uh, you know, at this point, I was just like, you know what, I'm done with this walking, I'm just going to run, I don't care, you know, if I'm going to die this way, that's fine, like, I have nothing to lose, I'm just going to start running, and uh, so I did, I ran for about, jogged for about five, about five minutes or so, and uh, starting that time, starting with the five minutes, each time I, I walked, I would try to add a minute on um, to my jogging. So I started doing that um, fairly regularly, not quite every day, but, uh, but uh, you know, several times a week. And I found my lung capacity was increasing. Um, you know, we did several other echocardiograms throughout the two month period, but the fluid never came back. I mean, that was huge. You know, just, you know, not having the fluid come back was, you know, a monumental amount of good news because it meant that you know, most likely the cancer treatment is probably working, but at the very least, the fluid wasn't coming back. Or if it was, it was coming very, very slowly. So, you know, a lot of good things were starting to happen. And probably towards the very end of, mid to end of May, I was starting to be able to notice that the lymph node was starting to shrink. Not much. But I could physically tell after feeling the lymph node on my neck, um, it was about right here, that it seemed smaller. Um, and so um, going up into my first scan, um, you know, we went into the appointments. My oncologist walks in and he said, these are the best results I have ever seen for the first round of treatment for an immunotherapy patient. I mean, they were, I, I can't even find enough words to describe how good the response was. Um, the cancer was over half gone. After only several treatments of this new immunotherapy drug, over half the cancer was gone after approximately eight to nine weeks of treatment. I mean, I, we, you know, my wife and I were just stunned. I mean, just stunned. I mean, I felt good going into, into the, the scan, but, um, you know, it, it's just, it was just crazy. I, I still can't get over just how good those results were. Even more incredible is that there was probably even less cancer than that. 
And um, when immunotherapy is working really, really well and it's shrieking cancer quickly, the T cells, which are in, in, you know, the primary response you know, for the immune system to kill the cancer, they will actually show up on the scan. So if your cancer is shrinking, it's probably even smaller because you have immunotherapy, you know, killer T cells um, attached to that tumor, killing it, but they're showing up um, as part of the tumor. So my oncologist said to keep that in mind and that, you know, the cancer is probably, you know, shrinking even quicker than what um, is visually represented. So, um, you know, this was a really, you know, pivotal moment in my cancer story because from what I've read, you know, the, the best chance at long-term survival is that you have to hit a home run early on in the diagnosis. Um, if you're having to jump from treatment to treatment and you're trying to, to deal with side effects from the medication, um, that can make it you know, infinitely more difficult to treat, especially when it's stage four. So the fact that we had gotten out of front, my immune system really kind of caught up um, to what it you know, wasn't doing, which was fighting cancer, and uh, you know, things looked really, really good moving forward. So I'll go ahead and stop here today. In my next video, we'll be talking about really the summer months of 2017 and uh, leading into the fall of 2017. Um, but again, once again, questions, comments, leave them in the comment section below. And I will see you all in the next video.